Hey, what's going on? Zinkoto here. Today, I'm going to be starting my Assassin's Creed Rogue 100% playthrough for the Xbox 360. I'm going to be going through the game, going to be getting all of the achievements, all the collectibles, any chests, anything that, that I can find or collect or do in this game, I'm going to complete every aspect of it, including the DLC, and I also have all the Uplay content. So I want to experience every facet of the game. Stay my blade from the flesh of the innocent. Hide in plain sight. Never compromise the Assassin Brotherhood. These are the tenets of the Creed. The principles I used to live by. I was a young man then. The Seven Years' War was about to begin. I could not have imagined what the future had in store for me, nor the cost I would choose to bear. My name is Shay Patrick Cormac. This is my story. Hmm. They're throwing us right into the action. Yeah, so... The tree climbing's back. Kind of reminds me of a uh, frontier from Assassin's Creed 3. Kill the assassin. Well, no lack of firewood, please. <laughs> Admit it, I nearly had you. <laughs> nearly counts for nothing, Shay. And besides, no, that was just luck. <laughs> I make my own luck, Liam. Ah, you've been saying that for years, but you're precious little to show for it. Or have you been spending it all getting out of trouble? Well, you know, trouble just follows me around. Let's head back. Huh. Come on. Captain Deliver André and his crew must have run into some trouble. Who knew meeting with smugglers would lead to no good? I still don't understand why you can't tell me what we're doing here. Because Chevalier decided not to tell you. I thought we were friends, Liam. We are. But this is business. It doesn't concern you, Shay. Hmm. Kind of, kind of interested, though. Like, what? I wonder what uh, made Shay going too fast uh, I'm just keeping an eye go from being an assassin to a Templar. I'll look at this map real quick. Templar map. Arctic Wolf. Yeah, and this fragments. Are collectibles in this game. We got chests, of course. Viking sword. Okay. I'll look around after this first mission. We best not keep Chevalier waiting there. so sick, Rita. Where the hell were you two? We were out hunting. What happened here? My men were attacked by some English sea dogs. Why, Captain Joseph, couldn't you fight them all off by yourself like you're always saying? It is Capitaine Louis Joseph Gauthier, Chevalier de la Verandrie. And you are dreaming if you think any training could make you into a proper assassin. Do you even know what that means? 
It means being responsible for an ancient and proud tradition. It means obeying your mentor without question. How else will we ensure freedom for the human race? Them's pretty words, Chevalier. But I don't feel too free at the moment. Well then, feel educated! <laughs> Yo, irresponsible wretch! Alright, buddy. Wanna go? <laughs> Ain't put up much of a fight. You simpleton! You rot brain cabbage farmer! Okay. <laughs> You simpleton! You rot brain cabbage farmer! Gentlemen, stop! We got a common enemy, and I reckon he's close! The Royal Navy attack my vessel and force my men to flee! We are stranded, and what is worse, the smugglers we were supposed to meet have been taken prisoner! Shay and I are free, those smugglers. You, treat your wounded! Take these. You'll need them. Tread with care, Shay. The Royal Navy be ready for us. Remember your training. Okay, so free the smugglers. Optional objectives remain undetected by British guards. Um, and kill all British guards. Oh, and hey, what's up, Poofer? Um, how you doing, man? Ready to teach a lesson? They don't stand a chance. We need to kill all the smugglers? Hold on a second. Remain undetected by the British guards. Kill all the British guards. Free the smugglers. Okay, I got it. What, are, what weapons do I have, though? Just hidden blades. Alright. I don't want to just jump in. That guy will hear me. Eh, or not. He's too busy just beating up on this guy over here. Oh, there we go. There he goes again. Liam's helping me out. Thank you. There, I'll pop up. Have him come over. Come on. <laughs> I don't think he's gonna come over. Oh, it actually shows the, the range of your whistle. That's, that's actually really handy. Took me a while to get a feel for the range of my whistling on the other games. Yeah, then I gotta get these guys off this boat. Oh, the the water, the frigid water, or water, I guess, um, drains my health. Yeah, I mean that makes sense, but to be careful. I wonder if I can actually whistle from hanging off the side. I don't think so. That's something I've always kind of wanted. Get down or you'll pay for it. Okay. <laughs> I mean, this is a crazy way to start off the mission, though. It's like right in the very beginning, I gotta take all these guys out, but I can't. Uh, but I gotta remain undetected.
I think it was I think he was the only one patrolling, but I'm not sure. And a lot of these guys are pretty stupid and just not paying attention. Done. Saving those fellas for you. Very thoughtful. Maybe you were not completely useless, Shake. Speaking of useless, those blockheads won't be needing this vessel anymore. This pile of mail? You want her, Shay? She is yours. Now bring me back to my ship. Hey, look at that. I already got, a new, got my own ship. Hey, this vessel is yours, Shay. Go on. All right. Well, let's see. Am I supposed to go take him back to his ship? But next to me, you are the most experienced sailor in the Brotherhood chain. Besides, we could do with another vessel. I'll come back here later. Try to finish this mission out. You know what? I'm just gonna take this opportunity to go through and get other collectibles here before I move on. Okay. Shouldn't take too long. This looks like a relatively small island. All right, Templar map. Okay, so those are like the treasure maps. Uh, that were like in a bl in black flag. Okay. Am I stuck here? No. Oh. I don't know if I can backtrack. Okay, there we go. It wouldn't let me climb with that tree. But yeah, this definitely feels very much like Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Which is, which is definitely a good thing. I mean, that, that game is amazing. I'm guessing this is just a weapon laying on, laying on the island. Found a piece of a viking sword, collect all the shards to discover the location of a lost viking something. Oh, okay. So it's a quest item. Fair enough. Another Templar map. There's a lot of there's a lot of things I have to do with this game, getting all the collectibles, quest items. Uh, I'm gonna go for all the chests, of course. Uh, and then there's like a lot of different achievements I have to work on, and then 
Sergo challenges are back in this game. And I need to I need to complete at least 65 of them. Uh, to unlock various cheats, which uh, which I'll need for different achievements. Uh, but I'm I think I'm gonna go for all the Absurgo challenges like I did in both uh, Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag on the Xbox One and 360. I guess from what I understand, the the map in this game is like half the size um, of the map from Four Black Flag. That's yeah, fun. I mean, this game was released exclusively on on previous gen. I mean, that makes sense. Seems like every, seems like all the protagonists you play in these in the Assassin's Creed games, they all have some sort of eagle vision. It is no different. There we go, all collectibles, and my first achievement owned, uh, which I earned from completing every every activity in a single location. That's cool. She'll look as fine as anything on the seven seas. Hmm. Shall we begin, Captain? Right, see. Indeed, mate. Sail to De La Verendry's ship. But she's still afloat. And her name's the Morgan. Morgan? That silly fairy queen who ruined Merlin, the wise? Oh, she's per Firing cannons. To fire your cannons, hold the left trigger and move the right stick to aim. Then press the right trigger to shoot. Pretty much the same thing. Uh, shoot the hull. Shoot the hull for maximum damage. Yep. Perfect for you, Shay. The Morgan was an old goddess, the queen of war and darkness. She harvested the souls of fallen warriors. Perfect indeed. And apparently, I have to shoot icebergs too. Destroying icebergs creates waves that can create or can damage small ships. Okay, that's, that's interesting. Oh, there's actually loot there too. Uh, just a little bit, but enough. Oh, I see. <laughs> and those fragments, I can collect off my boat. Makes it a bit easier. They will sink her! Let's put the Morrigan to the right, defend. Ready for battle, Gotta defend your ship. Alright. Those topsails gallant and loyal. 
I don't have any other cannons either. Oh. Oops. That's his ship. My bad. Really weak ships. Ship. Come on, get away from that other ship. All right, I'm just gonna use this then. Okay, good. return to what is left of It's a long way home. We have repairs. Sing hearty, lads. Chevalier is pleased with us. All right, there we go. What course would you have me set, Shay? Time to report back to the mentor. Wouldn't you agree? Wise words, Captain. Wise words. did you do? It's some kind of dormant virus? Shit. Hang on, I'm getting you out of there. Okay. Must be modern day. <laughs> Sorry for the rough exit. Your piece working, check. You were just an anonymous. Animus, yes? You were using it to access a genetic memory file in Helix labeled Shea Cormac? You work for Abstergo Entertainment, remember? Any of this ringing a bell. Your session triggered something bad, and it's affecting the whole building. We need to find your boss. You haven't forgotten your boss, have you? Melanie LeMay, zipper, chipper, overachiever? Here, take your communicator, check it if you got lost. Now let's get out of here. Okay. Melanie, Lee, uh, Melanie LeMay. Uh, she's... Absolutely your fault, in case you're wondering. What? Alright, Melania LeMay, um, is the, uh, your supervisor, um, for Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Hey, numbskull, don't wander off! Wait a second. I guess this is the same modern-day protagonist. I think this might be the same modern-day protagonist from Black Flag. Yeah, Come with me if you want to live. cubicle looks the same. Alright, fine. Come on, everyone. Just like we practiced in our safety drills. Everything is going to be okay, guys. Stay pop. Please proceed to the nearest exit. What the hell is happening? A file labeled Shea Cormac was booby trapped with some kind of virus. Your job is to prevent things like this. We need to contain these genetic memories, then we can destroy them. No. Isolate them. I want to study these memories. But... With respect, Miss LeMay, this is not a request. You heard the man. Fine. I need to borrow your numbskull. That okay with you, Miss LeMay? Hey there, this might seem a bit weird, but you're gonna work for contractors we hired to, you know, upgrade our security. Mr. Otto Berg and Miss Violet DaCosta. Call me Violet. I have to go check on our people and prepare a statement for the press. Do whatever they tell you to do, okay? Go team! You just look too thrilled. You're not responsible for this, but you're the one who let the virus out, so I think it's only fair you help me clean it up. Mr. Berg wants us to relive Shay's genetic memories. To do that, we need to access them from Helix. But the Helix is down. We'll have to reboot the main servers in the basement. Oh, hey, what's up, Atley? How you doing? Man, whoever designed this virus is a genius. Not only does it restrict our access to the cloud, 
It's adapted to fuck up the other operating systems that regulate building functions. Melanie? The elevators are out of commission. Are we stuck on this floor? Damn, yes. I'll get a repair crew on site ASAP. I guess it'll have to do for now. Wait, there's no stairs? I want regular updates on your progress with Shay's genetic memories. Why? He's just a nobody as far as I can tell. If Shay Cormac is who I suspect he is, then this temporary setback may provide us with an unexpected reward. Proceed to the server room on this floor. Okay, so restore the server. I don't know how this is my fault. <laughs> it's her job. Yeah, uh, things are going well. Um, I haven't streamed for uh, a couple of days. Um, I've been playing something else off stream that's just been taking up a lot of my time. Uh, and the holidays, of course. Okay. Tablet document one. To Robert Fraser from Melanie LeMay. Let's see how long this is. Okay, it's not that long. Hi Robert. You come highly recommended, and I'm thrilled to have you in our studio. I'm putting you to work on a special project for me. Your subject is Arno Dorian. His story takes place during the French Revolution. I want you to explore every avenue of his life that you can. The goal is to have a new, new blockbuster to present to, Abstergo, to the Abstergo Brass next year. As such, this is super classified. Your direct supervisor will be Aiden St. Clair. You can only discuss the project with Aiden or myself, as you'll probably be logging some overtime in your animus. I've added a man mandatory weekly meeting with our psychiatrist, Dr. Bibo. Make sure you're not suffering from eating bleeding effect. Welcome to the Psyrga Entertainment. Do not, don't let me down, Melanie LeMay. So, let's see. Robert Frazier, I guess, is the modern day protagonist for Arno. I think that's, I think Arno is from Unity, which I haven't played yet. Come on, numbskull. He's still calling. What a bitch. Tom, um, your tits. Do you see a flashing wireless signal? Great. That means you can still access systems. Go ahead and patch me into their feed. Once you restore the server, I'll connect your Animus workstation back to Helix. In theory, if you align the beams to segments of the core, it should solve the problem. But here's where it gets tricky. You have to move the circles in such a way that each segment is powered by a beam. The keyword here is each. One beam and one beam only per core segment, okay? Once everything is lit up properly, the system will reboot. Got it? Give it a shot. Um... Okay. Hold on a second. Power each beam. Don't know if I follow, but we'll see. Good job. Oh. This core wasn't too complex. But rebooting the advanced hardware in the rest of the building will require more work. The assassins would have huh. to believe that Al Mualim was a great mentor who became corrupted with greed. And that he schemed with the Templars to acquire an apple of Eden. I see instead a shrewd and cunning leader. A man who used his best assassin, Altair ibn Lahad, to eliminate his conspirators in order to keep the apple for himself, so that he could use it to enforce world peace. While it must be stated unequivocally that Al Mualim was not a Templar, it is interesting to me that his vision of peace was more in line with Templar philosophy than assassin. In the past, both sides had the same goal that of peace. Our only difference was how we chose to achieve it. Had Al-Mualim not been killed by Altair and allowed to carry out his plan, perhaps we would not be fighting now. It was only after Altair reformed the Brotherhood with its new ideals of free will that the conflict truly escalated and spread across the planet. 
For if the so-called wise man of the mountain can see things from our point of view, surely the same can be said for other assassins. So, Abstergo wants, well, I'm not sure who's narrating or what their stake in all of this is, but I'm assuming that being narr narrated by somebody from Abstergo, um, and I guess they, they're wanting to try to get assassins on their side. I, I don't know. But Almalim was a traitor, and he was greedy. I mean, all that's true. But I don't think his intentions were pure. I, I don't think he was seeking peace. I think he just wanted control. Alright, Atli. Um, thanks. I will see you around. Take care. Yeah, it's Abstergo's propaganda. I like being sneaky. <laughs> Talking. Come on, guys. <laughs> to the 